today, how much are auctions down? Hello again, I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to our latest post covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. Today I want to look in more detail at the auction results over the past couple of years. I made a post recently which explained why we must take the auction clearance data from both Domain and CoreLogic with a large pinch of salt. See auction results under the microscope. But that said, Domain's latest data from yesterday's auctions shows that volumes and values are well down. Anyone who wants evidence of how much the market has slowed, then just compare the 1.4 billion each week a year ago with the 486 million today. The clearance rates will drop as more results come in. And it seems the volume of auctions initially listed compared with those that go ahead are also significantly lower now. But I've been looking back over the past couple of years with a focus on the total value of property sold each week at auction. I've used the domain data sets for this analysis. We can chart the rolling average over four weeks of property sold at auction by value. Sydney and Melbourne tracked each other until around July last year. But since then, Melbourne has been running at a higher rate than Sydney. The total value cleared each week is somewhere between 1.6 billion at its height in 2016 to around $600 million now. But the trends are not necessarily that clear because of events such as holidays. However, if you overlay a trend line, then it's clear that the average value of sales closed at auction in 2016 are significantly higher than they are now. There was an initial fall off in early 2016 as the 30% speed limit for investment mortgages started to bite. But this was actually relatively short in duration and sales values picked up later in 2016 and into early 2017. But as the second round of credit tightening, including the focus on interest-only lending and tighter underwriting standards bit, sales value momentum fell significantly through the latter half of 2017 and is dropping away further as we travel through 2018. While the 2016 tightening can be regarded as just a minor credit crunch, the one we're in now is a whole different ball game. This is a major credit crunch and it may become business as normal and it will be a very different normal to boot. To underscore that, the average value cleared in November 2016 was around $1.35 billion a week. This time last year, the average was a lower $900 million a week and it's now sitting at around $600 million a week and falling. We expect this week's final results to be around $500 million. So sales values are one third down on a year ago and more than 50% lower than 18 months ago. This is a significant correction. This drop is explained by a smaller number of auctions and also the fact that lower priced property is selling faster relative to the upper echelons of the market. We discussed this in yesterday's Property Imperative Weekly. But it is also explained and correlated with the tightening in credit. As we've discussed before, credit availability is the primary driver of home prices. Less credit means less demand and falling prices. As we expect continued market tightening, as credit continues to be controlled more tightly, we should expect auction values and volumes to continue to languish. More evidence that we are indeed entering a new phase in the housing market with significant risks on the downside. It's just a question of how quickly we slide. As always, if you like what you've seen here today, please like the post and add a comment or a question. I read them all. If you want to join the growing band of subscribers who receive alerts when we release new posts, do subscribe now by hitting the subscribe bell. And if you've already subscribed, many thanks. I really appreciate your support and participation.
I'm Martin North, the Principal Analyst at Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.